postmasters, welcome guests, and of course Martin. That was a difficult speech. Do you all agree? Yes. I think so well done. Um, not easy to read. Very difficult not to give eye contact when you're told not to give eye contact. He actually was very well practiced. You could see that he knew what he was talking about. And I think it was a lesson for us all. If you haven't rehearsed, it shows. And I thought it was very clear. I loved the way the voices came over. And I loved the use of the stage. I thought it was really well done. I have some recommendations. And there's quite a few of them. Um, but I have to search for them, Martin. And the first one was, I felt I would have loved just a piece of paper that said clump of trees and mountains, whatever it was, so it could have sort of brought a picture of where we were. You use the stage from here, and it was effective, but I wanted you out here, really wanted it. I don't know how it was going to work. So my recommendation <laughs> would be to say, please, or well, those of you over there, please move there, and you are all in the centre. Move the room around. And when you are new to speaking, it's difficult to do anything other than speak. You're at a stage when you could, you could have thought and thought, how am I going to best come over? The voices, I mean, I, I couldn't believe how good the voices were. Um, what I would have liked is a change of the, the length of time between one voice and the other. So in one case, you'll do it quickly, and perhaps in the next, you'll do it a bit slower. So it just gave us a change of, of the voices. The other thing is, when you started at the beginning, you had the book in your hand. You knew what you were going to say. Put it down and, and tell us all about it. And for me, just for me, I felt that the book could have come up a bit. I know you were, You could have looked over there and had the book held up. But I, I think I'm really sort of uh, I'm grasping at straws here for things to say in ways of recommendation. Uh, I thought this was a tour de force. If you had all known Martin when he started, and he really wouldn't have said boo to a goose. <laughs> it was quiet, really quiet in the way he spoke. And to get a change of voice didn't happen, would it? And look at him now. So what I want to say is thank him very much for his speech and the criteria which in conclusion was to portray several characters, characters in one reading, identifying them to the audience through voice change and movement. He fulfilled the criteria, and what I want to say now, it must be a precursor to doing shapes. <laughs>